Before we actually start placing any sprinklers into our project, it's worth noting that sprinkler pipework does not use the same calculation methods as hydronic or domestic hot and cold water, for example. And because these calculation methods are so different, they're just not included in Revit MEP at this point in time. If you're already using other software to do your calculations for sprinkler pipe work, then it's fair to say that you should carry on doing so for the time being. But you can still use Revit MEP for doing your documentation and your coordination with other services. So on that premise, let's dive in to Revit MEP for sprinklers. From the startup screen, click on open and browse to your chapter 13 folder and open up the file chapter 13 sprinklers. The sprinkler objects, like many other objects in Revit MEP, can be hosted or non-hosted. Placing them on something like a ceiling or a side wall-hosted sprinkler head is a relatively easy process to do. But what happens if you don't have a ceiling? What if they're exposed sprinkler heads with exposed pipework? Then you have to choose a different type of sprinkler head. So let's look at placing both of those types of sprinkler. One in an exposed corridor and the other hosted type into a ceiling. Let's start with the exposed one. From the Systems tab, click on Sprinkler. And from the Properties palette, we're going to select a sprinkler head, a non-hosted one. Here I'm going to select a 20mm pendant. We'll choose its offset from the working level as 2400. And I can place a sprinkler. Click on Modify. If I create a section at this point, we'll be able to see where our sprinkler sits in relation to the building. Let's crop this view for clarity, and I'm going to change its scale to 1 to 20. I only need to see level 3. Scroll in, and we can see that our sprinkler head is in the right orientation and it's below any of the other services in the area. Let's go back to our level three. At this point, I'm going to use the array tool to create copies of my sprinkler head along the corridor. I'll click my start point. Let's say we've got a four and a half meter distance between the two of them, and we've got eight sprinkler heads. Because this is an array group, I can come back and change the number of the array to meet my requirements. Or I can increase the spacing just by moving one of them. Let's move this by 500. And now all my sprinklers are spaced at 5 meters. Let's just change that number back to 10. And I'm happy with my layout. Now I can do the ceiling hosted ones. Back on the systems tab, click on sprinkler again. And this time, I'll opt for the sprinkler pendant hosted, but we'll use the same type of pendant. When I go to place it this time, we get the options on my contextual toolbar, and I can specify to place this on a face. Now that I have one placed, I can click on modify and go through the same process as before. Use the array tool to create a horizontal array. So I can now select those previous three. Make sure I ungroup them first and then use the array tool again to create my vertical array. Let's check the placement of those with my section. And here you can see my sprinklers sat neatly on the underside of the ceiling. Like all other Revit MEP objects, if a family has a connector, then it can be placed into a system, and sprinkler heads are no different. If I select one of the sprinklers, you can see that we can create a pipe from its location, or we can create a piping system. This is now prompting me to create a fire protection wet system, which is how the family has been developed. Let's give the system a name. Level 3. Sprinklers 
Remembering how the naming went on other systems, let's just keep our naming consistent and we'll call this Level 3 South Sprinklers and click on OK. I now need to edit the system and add more sprinklers to the system. A selection window should do it and click on Finish to finish editing the system. I'll do the same for the corridor. Only this time I'm just going to select all the sprinkler heads, click on piping, and this time we'll call this level 3 south corridor sprinklers, and click on OK. That's now created my corridor sprinkler zone. With this completed, I can now move on to the next stage of actually creating a pipe layout. So far in the sprinkler exercises, we've been working in one of the coordinated layouts, which has a ceiling plan attached. Now we're ready to start working on the pipe layout. It's not really necessary. So from your project browser, scroll down and open up Level 3 Fire Protection Piping Plan and scroll into the south part of the building. I'm now ready to start laying out my pipes. Let's start with the corridor. I'll select one of the sprinkler heads and in this option I'm going to use the Generate Placeholder tool to create placeholder pipes. This now gives me some solutions. Let's take a look at the options we've been given. Let's also check the settings for the actual pipes. And here I find that we may already have some problems. There's my main run at 2700. Let's push this up to 3 meters and do the same for the branch. Click on OK and finish layout. I'll run through the same process for the sprinkler heads in the office. Select one of the sprinkler heads and this time we'll use the generate layout option and cycle through some of the options we've been given. Let's check the settings on this and here we can see we've got the pipework to be offset at 3 meters but none of the options are really doing it for me. That's kind of looking okay. So I could go with this, or I could just ditch it and do my own layout. But I'll settle with this one and click on Finish Layout. I now have two layouts that I can check in my 3D plumbing view. Let's remove the section box. And just so we can see them a bit better, let's hide the architectural file and scroll in to see our sprinklers. Even though I can already see a coordination issue, my placeholder pipe is running straight through the middle of my fan core unit, I'm reasonably happy with this design outcome. Although if I want to be really diligent, I will change the offset of my placeholder so that it runs underneath the fan core unit. 